Other than Basil Chapman giving the uh, four o'clock final bell of Friday, the 28th of January. Uh, this is a very interesting session because it went everywhere. But this time, we closed with a 565-point gain in the Dow at 35,726. You can see it just went right there on the daily chart. It just went over the pink nine-period exponential moving average. The histogram finally in the MACD started to be improved, and the stochastic finally went to 32%, and we've got a little bit of a V-shaped pattern on balance volume. Unless there's something really bad that happens over the weekend, I think we've at least done a good bit of justice to trying to establish that the Monday low of 33,150 can stay in place for a while. Not if it takes out 34,000 one more time. Then we just stuck in this range for a while. So, so far, so good. Going into the uh, Sunday night, Monday uh, period. Now, let's just see if I can get the S&P right here. The S&P is traded, it traded right up to uh, up 105 at 44.32. Nice. This time, it's, it, it got close to the nine period moving average. It's not as good a chart looking uh, looking as uh, the Dow, but it is over the 200 period moving average. Again, that's a really important set of five sessions under it. This is a nice close above it. And that says that if the S&P on Monday is able, even just for a moment, is able to get to the 44.73 level, that's 40 points higher. But if it's able to do that, that's going to be big. It'll probably start leg B in the daily chart, and that'll be a big positive. We needed this right now. Look at the QQQ. They are failing, but they had at least a good day, up 10 at 361. They need to get to the 356, 361 level by Tuesday or Wednesday of this coming week. Don't take out 340 support. You go for the upside. QQQ, please. IWM, the Russell 2000, that is the small caps. Close at the high of the day, but it's still a horrible looking chart. So it's got a lot of catching up, but maybe a little V shaped uh, pattern in the on balance volume in the daily. Maybe this is good. And a doji candle in the uh, weekly chart. Hey, if we can close any day next week above 205, that'll be fabulous. Now, gold pulled back very sharply, and that's because uh, the dollar had a fabulous uh, week. The dollar is right up at the 97.26 level. And I must say, I think there's a really good chance that crude oil, if there's nothing happening in Russia or anywhere geopolitically, crude oil could pull back a couple of points and that gives uh, natural gas a chance to rally. It also says that maybe it'll help the market as well. And the TLT bonds are still stuck in that lower range.